Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Scarlett's Little Crafty Corner, and I've got a Timu haul here for you. Um, I haven't done one in a while, but this has been here sitting under my desk for probably a good two to three weeks. Um, and there's something in here I need, so I figured I'd go ahead and do my video. Um, I do have an order coming. Um, should be here any day now, so there will be another video coming after this one at some point. Um, so, everything that I have in this bag, I will leave a link to it with the um, price in my description box but as you know uh, their prices change every day what I paid for it they may have already changed the price on it so um, anyway I will leave a link to the items in my description box if they are available so let's just get right into this bag um, the first thing that I pulled out, and let me bring y'all down just a little. Um, if you've been following me, you know I do miniatures. Um, hopefully one of these days I'll do my own kit instead of buying kits that I have to put together, but I, I love doing it. Um, so this was $2.98, and what this is, is some tools, miniature tools. If I can figure out how to get into the bag. But I've seen these and I thought they were really cute. And they are metal. And they are rusted. But you've got your, your hoe, your shovel, and your rake. And then your... Um, Oh, I can't remember what this one is called. I, I know it's not a... Is it a pit? No, it's not a pit. I don't know. But anyway, here's these. And like I said, I gave $2.98 for it. And it does not tell me the scale. I know this is bigger than a scale 124 or 25 whichever one you want to call it because that's the kind that's the scale I work in is 124 so this might be a 112 I think I don't know I'm still learning my scales but this is a this is bigger than a, the kits that I work on so, this is one of those items I have, I got, so that when I do my own kit, I'll have something. Alright, so these other two items are the same. I gave $1.83 each, alright, because on the ad, it said that it was like weather stripping for windows, um... To keep the draft out. Now, I live in an older home. <clears throat> I'm going to open this up real quick. I live in an older home. Now, it does have newer windows, but they still leak. Whoever put them in did not do a great job. Um, but I seen this and I thought, you know what? I'm going to get this and I'm going to try it and see if I can't cover up some of the leak. Um, but this is not what I thought it was, just to be terribly honest. Um, and I think it felt like it was double-sided. But it might not be. But it, all this is is a thick scotch tape, is all this is. And now, <clears throat> I'm afraid that... If I put this on my wall, um, when I go to pull it off, it's going to pull paint, paneling, wallpaper, whatever else. So, I'm kind of iffy about this. And, y'all, I'm just being honest. Um, but, like I said, this is, it is double, no, it ain't, no, it ain't, no, it ain't. It's just like a thick scotch tape. Um... 
So I, I'm not real sure about this. But, like I said, I gave $1.83 a piece. And it does say it's just transparent 10 millimeters or 10, 10 M. Um, so yeah, I, I don't know. Um, don't know about this one. All right. So the next thing, and I'm just randomly pulling stuff out. All right. So this is another item I bought two of. And I meant to take them actually out of my, out of my, uh, my cart because I bought these to hang on my wall to put the dog's leashes and um, collars on. Um, but then I went ahead and I purchased a, um, one of those, um, what are they called? The things that sit in front of your door that you put your shoes on. And then it has, um, <clears throat> sorry, y'all. <clears throat> it has, um, the hooks already on it. It's like a, a coat rack, but I got it through Timu with this order. Um, but I've already put it up and it's in my, uh, front room. Um, and by the way, those are super nice and I do, um, I like them and I do recommend them and they're, they're not bad on price and they're extremely easy to put together. Um, but they're the, they're the, the ones that have the, the plastic pipes and you have to put the pipes together and yeah. Um, but anyway, I bought that and I meant to take these out of my cart but I can still use these for something. So all this is is a um, a hook or not a not really a hook. I don't know what what are they called actually. Um, it doesn't say. It just says gray. Um, but anyway, here's the adhesive. You put this on here. You stick it to your wall, and you could put hats or you know whatever you want to on this. I only gave a dollar forty four each. So, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these in the bathroom and then hang my ponytail holders off of it. Um, so, I think that's what I'm going to do with it. Because <clears throat> that adhesive is not going to hold very well anyway, anything that's heavy. So, ponytail holders are not that heavy. So, I think that's what I'm going to do with that. Alright, so the next thing I got, and I'm just randomly pulling this out of this bag. I gave 98 cents for these, and these are Scrub Boss sponges, and there are four of them in here. Now, I've not used these. I usually get those little round pink ones, and that it's like the sponge on one side and the, the scratcher on the other. But I've seen these, and I thought, man, them, them will probably be good, too. And this is coarse. I mean, y'all can hear it. So... I wouldn't use this on any kind of Teflon or anything that's non-stick because it might scratch your surface. But for plates and stuff, I think it'd be just fine. But there, like I said, there's four in there. And you can see there's red, blue, pink, and yellow. And 98 cents for four of these. You can't even get that at the Dollar Tree. So, Alright, so the next thing I got was this. I don't know why I keep buying these little card games. I've not even used the first one, but this is 88 Great Conversation Starters for Husbands and Wives. I gave $3.96 for it. Um, it says, enhance your relationship with your spouse with these 88 conversation starters for couples a great resource to create intimacy and build a strong marriage get the conversation flowing and learn more about your partner's hopes worries dreams and joys with the fun with this fun resource so i just thought this was cute and honestly i just wanted to see what the questions were um let me see. How do we get in here? And I've gotten a few, or well, a couple other ones. And 
one of them I opened and was reading some of the questions. And <clears throat> they're not stupid. I mean, some are kind of weird. But, I mean, they're not bad questions. But there's no, there's no real fun in it. I mean, I guess it would be if you had like a party and you had a bunch of couples. And you could play with other people. But when it's just you and your husband. And you're just asking each other questions back and forth. It's kind of lame. But, um, let's see. What can we do to make the holidays more meaningful this year? <laughs> what a question. Um... So what okay so it just it'll ask you a question and then you answer it and then these are just quotes so it, there's no right or wrong question or answers um so it's not like a i beat you kind of game it's just it's talking things it's just a conversation starter as it says all right so the next thing I got was a pair of these uh, large, extra large socks. Now, these are for uh, neuropathy. Um, and I gave, I, I didn't put the price on there, but um, these are white. I think I only give like 98 cents for them. I think they were on a lightning deal. But anyway, you can see that the toe is cut out. So, um, and these are very thick and very strong. So, I have neuropathy in one of my ankles because I have a cyst on the top of my foot that they can't get out. Um, and I don't know how it happened. I, I think what it was is where all the years I worked on my feet in concrete or on concrete in retail you know we don't never sit down we're always moving and doing something but i think what i what i have done is i messed up my ankle um but it hurts constantly and i do mean constantly and i have got the socks the compression socks that's what these are kind of like well this is what they really are is compression socks but i have the ones that go all the way up to your knee and i like them and my ankle does feel better my foot feels better when i do wear them but in the summer who wants to wear a pair of socks that goes all the way up to your knees and i don't even wear socks half the time anyway so i thought this would be cool being there's no toe in it and they don't go all the way up to my knee. Anyway, I'm going to try them and see. See how they are. Um, the next thing that I got was these. I gave 89 cents for these. And I know you've all seen these on there. And they're them little pill people. I don't know what else you would call them. But this is what they are. But I wanted them for the people. I don't want the pill. Um. If I have to break it to get the little people out, I will. Um, because for 89 cents, ain't no big deal. But I thought these would be cute to put in my... Just the people. To put the people in my um, miniatures. But I will say... I think they're going to be too small. I would probably need maybe about that tall maybe an inch tall inch and a half to two inch tall person i don't know i'd ha I have to look and play with it but this is let's see one two three four five six seven eight nine this is a 10 pack for 89 cents and like i said i just wanted them for the miniature, for the little people in there. And they're random. So, not bad. Alright, so, another thing that I got. And I did get this one too small. I gave 98 cents for this. 
and it's a three pack of little benches if you can see um i did get two small on this there's three sizes there's a large medium and a small looking at the pictures i thought well I need to get the small because when I get miniatures, I'm always messing up and getting stuff that's too big. So I thought, well, I'll just get the small ones, but I think I got these two small. Them little people would probably fit on here, but yeah, I, these are these are a little bit too small. I should have went with the medium, and I might go ahead and order me another set and get the medium, but still, for $0.98... Cents, Still not bad at all. Alright, so there's that. Alright, so here's another little miniature. And I have not opened this. And I hope they're not broke or nothing. But I gave $2.50 for this. And I just thought this was the cutest thing. It's just a table and two chairs. Because if y'all remember. I got a... um. Um, a miniature camper and I said I was gonna put make it like a gypsy caravan well that's my plan and I've been thinking of things to get that's kind of what the the little tool set garden set I thought that would be cute with it I thought this little table and chair would be cute with it for like outside um but yeah I just I thought this would be cute with it if it's not too big because I can't remember without getting it out but I can't remember what size the kit actually is <clears throat> okay so for the last things that I got are for miniatures this is all terrain um, it's called all terrain decoration or something anyway it's supposed to be grass it's supposed to look like grass um i gave a dollar 59 for this and this is the green mix there's different colors <clears throat> y'all i apologize for my throat um we have gas heat here and we just turned it on this week believe it or not um and it is killing my sinuses and stuff i it dries me up and makes me all croaky and everything so just forgive my throat um but anyway you th you take and you put this down you put glue down and then you sprinkle this and it it just looks like grass so a dollar 59 for that and then i got red green and mixed or well orange this is orange anyway these are maple leaves and I gave 39 cents a pack for these. And I thought this would be cute. I didn't realize that they were going to be foil and shiny, though. I thought they were just going to be, you know, if y'all can see. They're very pretty. These look like the things that you would put, like, in envelopes, like, for sprinkles in envelopes. But they're just little maple tree or maple leaves. And I thought this would be cute to put, I can use that in, for the summer, for leaves in the summer. But I thought this would be cute for a fall kit and sprinkle them around underneath the little trees. And then that way it looked like the leaves were falling off the trees. I love this one. That's so pretty. But I didn't realize they were going to be this shiny because, I mean... They're supposed to look real, not like glitter, but I like them. So, I wish I'd gotten the other colors because there was more colors. So, but anyway, this is what I got. And like I said, I will leave a link to everything in my description box if it's still there. Um, and that's all I've got on this Timu haul. Like I said, I've got another Timu, Timu haul coming um, this one is, I paid for this with my own cash. This one is not sponsored. Um, so the next one will be sponsored because I finally got enough, I guess you could say points to get, um, some, uh, free stuff. 
So, yeah. Anyway, so this is all I got on this haul. And I appreciate y'all watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Leave me a comment. Um, let me know what you think about this stuff. If you've used any of it um, or whatever. Um, yeah. So, all right, y'all. That's all I got for this one. And until my next video, I will see you all later. Bye, y'all.